Good morning, everyone. Today's topic is heterocyclics with uh, more than two heteroatoms, which is the unit in the paper Advanced Heterocyclic Chemistry. And my name is Dr. S. Guraj, Assistant Professor in Department of Chemistry, Nizam College, Osmania University, Hyderabad. So, in this topic, today we have to deal with uh, synthesis, reactivity, aromatic character, and the importance of the following heterocyclics. Those are triazoles. In this triazoles, 1, 2, 3 triazole, 1, 2, 4 triazoles are there and tetrazoles and oxidiazoles. In this oxidiazoles, 1, 2, 4 oxidiazole, 1, 3, 4 oxidiazole, 1, 2, 5 oxidiazoles are there. In thiadiazoles, 1, 2, 3 thiadiazole, 1, 3, 4 thiadiazole, 1, 2, 5 thiadiazoles are there. In triazines, 1, 2, 3 triazine, 1, 2, 4 triazine, 1, 3, 5 triazine as well as the tetrazines and some synthesis uh, importance and synthesis of purines and pyridines and synthesis of caffeine, theobromine and theophylline. These are the topics in this video I am providing you. Now the topic is uh, synthesis, reactivity and aromatic character and importance of the following heterocyclics 1 to 3 triazole, 1 to 4 triazoles as well as the tetrazoles. Here some triazoles and tetrazoles are there. Those are 1, 2, 3 triazoles, 1, 2, 4 triazoles, tetrazoles. So these can be classified as aromatic on the basis of the Huckel's rule. Each can formally be regarded as containing 6 pi electrons made up of 4 electrons from 2 double bonds and 2 electrons from the lone pair on a heteroatom that is nitrogen. There are two sets of isomers that differ in the relative position of three nitrogen atoms. So each of these has two tautomers, two different tautomers that differ by which nitrogen has a hydrogen bond to it. So in this, the three nitrogen system, five membered heterocyclics, five membered heterocyclics with the three nitrogens. So here, first one is in one, two, three system, you have the three, uh, two types of tautomers are there. That is a one H, one, two, three type triazole. And second one is 2H means here difference is the hydrogen attached to first nitrogen or second nitrogen. And the another one, 1, 2, 4, in 1, 2, 4 triazoles, 1H as well as the 4H. Here there is no chance of 2H. So here we will get 4H triazole. So in the importance of uh, triazoles, so we found some antifungal drugs plant production, fungicides and plant growth, retardants, biosynthesis of inhibitors, convulsive shock therapy treatment of mental illness purpose, some of the drugs cardizazole or metrazole we can say it as, some of these drugs are available with the triazole derivatives which are having medicinal importance. These are the structures of the molecules which are used as a triazoles, 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 4 triazoles are there. So these are the different types of structures and drugs which are using in the and or some molecules which are having the anti um, biological activities against specific diseases. So these are the specific ones. Tetrazoles also importance of tetrazoles as bio bioisoesters for carboxylate groups because they have similar pK and are deprotonated at a physiological pH. And some of the molecules used as angiotensin 2 receptor blockers and a well known tetrazole is dimethylthiazolyl diphenyl tetrazoleum bromide that is MTT. This tetrazole is used in the MTT assay to quantify the uh, respiratory activity of live cells culture, although it generally kills the cells in the process. Some tetrazole derivatives. Uh, with high energy have been investigated as high performance explosive as a replacement of TNT and also for use in the high performance solid rocket propellant formulations. So these include agiotetrazolates salts of nitrogen bases and other tetrazoles are used for their exclusive combustive properties such as tetrazole itself and 5-amino tetrazole which are sometimes used as a component of gas generators 
in automobile airbag these are some of the examples of tetrazol molecules first one is 1 2 3 triazole and triazoles are prepared in by cycloaddition method so 1 2 3 triazole prepared by the cycloaddition of an alkyne with an azide so here we will see this is the tree a reaction of a azide and an alkyne is a typical click reaction so that is a high a highly efficient and a reliable general reaction that can be used for linking moieties for various purposes such as in combinatorial chemistry right another reaction also here that is also cycloaddition in presence of formaldehyde and hydroxymethyl triazoles are formed some different substituted triazoles are also forming that is acetomethanol formed by this alkyne substitution here reaction with n tosylamides using ruthenium or copper catalyst giving one substituted and one substituted 5 and 4 amino triazoles respectively the formation of 1 4 substitution pattern with the copper catalysis a copper catalyst and 1 5 pattern with the ruthenium catalyst seems to be general the latter metal will also promote addition to internal alkynes and in another reaction the interaction is between an acetylenic Grignard reagent and the azide and is probably a stepwise sequence the immediate organometallic product being available for subsequent reaction with an electrophile. Here synthesis includes a diazo transfer to enamino ketones from either sulfonyl azides or 3 diazo oxindole and reaction of dichloroacetaldehyde to sile hydrazones with amines and in other way azide alkyne cycloaddition yields to 1 2 3 triazoles this reaction is azide alkyne husein uh, cycloaddition is a 1 3 dipolar cycloaddition between an azide and a terminal or internal alkyne to give a 1 2 3 triazole and Rolf Huzen was the first to understand the scope of this organic reaction American chemist Carl Very Sharpless has referred to this cycloaddition as the cream of the crop of click chemistry and the premier example of the click reaction in the reaction this azide 2 reacts neatly with alkyne 1 to afford the triazole 3 as a mixture of 1,3 adduct and 1,5 adduct. So these are the some of the reactions to synthesis the 1,2,3 triazole the cycloaddition type of reactions all are the azole rings are prepared by using cycloaddition. So some of these reactions are here which are given in this form. Properties of 1, 2, 3 triazoles and this is the alkylation or acylation on nitrogen. So that's why it is called as N alkylation or acylation. So 1, 2, 3 triazole is fairly resistant to N alkylation under neutral conditions. However, both acylations and alkylations involving N anions means nitrogen anions occur readily but mixture of one and two substituted products are often obtained in this method. Bromination reaction 1, 2, 3 triazoles, triazole itself forms a 4, 5 dibromo derivative in high yield with a bromine at 50 degrees centigrade. 1 methyl 1, 2, 3 triazole can be monobrominated at a C4 but the 2 methyl isomer is less reactive requiring the use of an iron catalyst and the next one is nitration nitration of 2 phenyl 1 2 3 triazole proceeds first on the benzene ring but then does bring about hetero ring substitution oxidation and reduction in this 1 2 3 triazoles are relatively resistance to both oxidation and reduction so in oxidation hydrogen with uh, in presence of palladium catalyst at one, 175 degrees centigrade also the 
oxidation has not been done in reduction the game in four in presence of heat also has not been done anything and n substitution has been taken place the n substituted 1 2 3 triazoles can be lithiated directly at carbon but low temperatures must be maintained to avoid ring cleavage by cyclo reversion here is another property that is a deal solder cyclo addition one phenyl one to three triazoles participate in deal solder cyclo additions with the dimethyl acetylene carboxylate using aluminum chloride catalysis which produce one phenyl pyrazole and another one is uh, rearrangement that is uh, dim roth this is an this is a rearrangement reaction taken place with assert with the certain one to three triazoles where endocyclic and exocyclic nitrogen atoms switch the places this organic reaction was discovered in the discovered in 1909 by otto dimroth 1 to 4 triazole synthesis 1 to 4 triazoles are available via cyclo cyclo dehydration reactions of nn diacyl hydrazines with amines although the condensations are often quite vigorous an interesting variant utilizes sim triazine that is a 135 triazine as an equivalent for nh ch4 taken twice and these are the four reactions the nn diacyl hydrazines use it to prepare 1, 2, 4 triazoles. The another one is acyl hydrazides or reacts with S methyl isothiourias producing 3 amino 1, 2, 4 triazoles or with imidoil chlorides forming 1, 2, 4 triazoles. And the another one is the N Horn Brunner reaction. The Enhorn Brunner reaction is the designation for the chemical reaction of imides with alkyl hydrazines to form an isomeric mixture of 1, 2, 4 triazoles. Here you, will ca you can see the triazoles with iso isomeric mixtures. Right? So here one substitution and three and five substitutions. So R1, R2 has been shifted from one position to another position. And this, this is the Pellizari reaction synthesis uh, to synthesize the 1, 2, 4 triazoles. So this reaction was discovered in 1911 by Gudio Pellizari and is the organic reaction of an amide and a hydrazide to form 1, 2, 4 triazole. The next properties of 1, 2, 4 triazoles, here also an alkylation and acylation takes place. So, N alkylations and acylations generally occur at nitrogen 1, reflecting the, reflecting the higher nucleophilicity of N N system. However, 4 alkyl derivatives can be prepared via quaternization of 1 acetyl 1, 2, 4 triazole or the acyl acrylonitrile or protononitrile adducts and another reaction is secondary radical minisi alkylations of 1 alkyl 1 to 4 triazoles take place at C5 means carbon fifth carbon primary radical substitutions are known in an intramolecular sense here the bromination as well as the chlorination means halogenation. Bromination occurs readily in alkaline solution giving 3,5-dibromo, 1,2,4 triazole. The 3-monochloro derivative can be obtained by thermal rearrangement of the N-chloro isomer. And analogous of N to C, 1,5-sigmotropic shift followed by tautomerization converts the 1 into 3-nitro compound. The another one is oxidative desulfurization. The oxidative desulfurization of 1 to 4 triazole thiones is a type of reaction common to other electron deficient nitrogen heterocyclics. 
nitric acid is the oxidant in the example given here the process involves loss of sulfur dioxide from an intermediate sulfonic acid 3 amino 1 to 3 triazole can be diazoed normally the resulting diazonium salt has been used for the production of azodes and also loses nitrogen with easy replacement by nucleophiles the bromine nitro triazoles which can be thus prepared are themselves as substrates for nucleophilic displacement reactions five bromo and five nitro groups are good leaving groups in one alkyl 1 to 4 triazoles for heteronucleophiles for carbon nucleophiles methyl sulfone is a better leaving group here for phenyl 1 to 4 triazole lin 3,5 diene that is a cookson reagent is a highly reactive dienophile and it has been used to trap unstable dienes or characterize dienes as adduct so these are the two different uh, examples which have been given here now tetrazole synthesis uh, there is also ring condensation reactions are there so tetrazole isonitriles with n halo succinamides and azides give halo derivatives aryl isothiocyanates with azide give the phi thiols which can be converted into phi unsubstituted tetrazole by oxidation with hydrogen peroxide or chromium dioxide chromium trioxide and another one is n nitroso nitris nitrosation of amidrazones is a method that avoids the use of azide and also offers a regio controlled synthesis of one substituted or 2,5 diaryl tetrazoles here the synthesis of 5 amino tetrazole can be achieved via the reaction of azide anion with benzotriazolyl imines another route utilizes n aryl cyanamides generated in situ from one aryl tetrazoles with sodium azide properties of tetrazoles tetrazoles alkylated and acylated on n1 or 4 and or n2 or 3 positions the regio selectivity depending in part on the substituent at c5 the formation of mixtures is the usual outcome for alkylation and next reaction is in some cases highly regio selective selective n1 alkylation can be carried out by first introducing a bulky labile group at n2 position then quaternization followed by cleavage of the two substituent both tri n butyl stanyl and tertiary butyl have been used for this purpose the use of a benzyl dithiocarbonate alkylating agent gives only the two benzyl isomer in very high yield while the methyl analog gives a mixture of Uh, very good of n2 selectivity with the 7 is to 1 ratio in another property 1 3 4 oxidiazoles 1 3 4 oxidiazoles are formed on heating tetrazole with acylating agents via rearrangement of first formed two acyl derivatives in another reaction carbon electrophilic substitution such as halogenation mercuration and even manis reaction but not nitration are possible five halide and sulfonyl groups in one substituted tetrazoles are readily displaced by nucleophiles methyl sulfonyl being more reactive than chlorine five bromo one methyl tetrazole is considerably more reactive than the two methyl isomer due to more effective delocalization of the negative charge in the intermediate adduct and metallation property carbon c lithiation of one substituted tetrazoles occurs readily and the resulting lithio derivatives can be trapped with electrophiles but there is a strong tendency for decomposition of the lithio compounds which depends 
on the one substituent on the first substituent the next one is the relatively selective methylation of 5 cyano tetrazole can be used to prepare pure 2 methyl tetrazole by utilizing the very large difference in stabilities of 1 and 2 methyl tetrazole 5 carboxylic acid. The mixture of methyl methylated nitriles can be hydrolyzed to the carboxylate salts and upon acidification the 1 methyl acid decarboxylates spontaneously. The resulting 1 methyl tetrazole and 2 methyl tetrazole 5 carboxylic acid can be easily separated then the latter decarboxylated at 200 degree centigrade to give pure methyl tetrazole. Next we will see the oxidiazole synthesis. So in our syllabus we have 1, 2, 4 oxidiazole, 1, 3, 4 oxidiazole, 1, 2, 5 oxidiazoles. Oxidiazole. Only one divalent heteroatom can be incorporated into a simple five-membered aromatic heterocyclic. These systems are named with the non-nitrogen non nitrogen atom numbered as 1 and the position of the nitrogen atoms shown with a reference to the divalent atom. So that is 1 to 4 oxidiazole. So numbering from oxygen will get 1 and second position to nitrogen and fourth position to nitrogen. So 1 to 4 oxidiazole. Same as it is 1 3 4 oxidiazole and 1 to 5 oxidiazoles. And there are four isomeric oxidiazoles are available. So they are 1 2 3 oxidiazole, 1 2 4 oxidiazole, 1 2 5 oxidiazole, 1 3 5 oxidiazole. Out of these oxidiazoles, 1 2 4, 1 2 5, 1 3 4 are well known. So that's why we are dealing with these oxidiazoles. 1 2 3 oxidiazole system occurs only in the form of mesoionic compound. So 1 to 3 oxidiazoles are less stable than corresponding open chain system that is alpha diazoketone. So here it is the syndomes or syndonemines. These are the mesoionic form and nitrogen will bear the positive charge. So that's why these are less stable compared to, to the other oxidiazoles. These are the some of the oxidiazoles which are having the drug nature. So as anti-cancer agents, anti-retroviral agent, anti-hypertensive agent, antibacterial agents and anti-hypertensive teodazosin. So these are the some of the drugs which are having the importance as drugs, some, tetra, some oxidiazoles. So ring synthesis of first molecule that is a 1, 2, 4 oxidiazole. So 1, 2, 4 oxidiazoles can be prepared by reaction of amino, amido, amide oxymes with activated acids, acid chlorides or anhydrides, esters or beta keto esters. And next one is 1, 2, 4 oxidiazoles can also be prepared from amides via acylamides, acylamidines or via the cycloaddition of nitrile oxides to nitriles as illustrated uh, the below 3 alkyl amino 1 to 4 oxidiazoles results from the reaction of n acyl 1 benzotriazolyl 1 carboxymides with hydroxyl amine another synthetic method is mukayama hoshi hoshino method in the presence of tertiary amide and phenyl isocyanate, enolyzable nitroalkanes gives nitrile oxides that undergo in situ cycloaddition with the nitriles to give 1 to 4 oxadiazoles. And another one is imidoil halides are available through halogenation of oxynes and yield nitrile oxides upon treatment with base or sometimes upon simple heating, the base used is often uh, triethylamine, but it can be sodium hydrogen carbonate in 
the in situ cyclo addition of the nitrile oxide to a nitrile gives 1 to 4 oxadiazole another one synthesis is n acyl amido oxymes cyclizes to give 1 to 4 oxadiazoles here n acyl amido oxymes are usually non non isolable intermediates that cyclize spontaneously at room temperature they are therefore generated in situ from n acylamide amidic chlorides acyl amidines n acyl alkyl sulfonyl amides n acyl alkoxy amides and a variety of similar precursors the wide range of readily available precursors make this a popular route to the synthesis of 1 to 4 oxadiazole nucleus and another one is the condensation of an amidoxine with a carboxylic acid derivative gives an O acyl amidoxine that on heating undergoes cyclization to form the 1 to 4 oxadiazole nucleus this is the classic synthesis first reported by Tiemann and Kruger so some properties oxidizers are weak bases due to minus inductive effect of heteroatom electrophilic substitution reaction on carbon atom are unknown except mercuration and halogenation so halogenation these are the some reactions which have been here, given here so 1 to 4 oxidizer reaction with mercuric chloride as well as the iodide iodine substitution is there and then another reaction 1 2 4 oxadiazole that is a three position th uh, third position phenyl is substituted so nitration takes place on phenyl not on 1 2 4 oxadiazole and another one is nucleophilic substitution takes place at a c5 position so there here we have given the alkyl group alkyl c5 means alkyl uh, 5 alkyl substituted one with the uh, substitution of chlorine or ohr or or nh2 at fifth position only and in rearrangement reaction you will get 1 2 4 oxadiazole will be rearranged to uh, 1 2 3 triazine these are the some of the reactions of reduction method and also alkyl group uh, reactivities so how the alkyl group substituted alkyl group at fifth, fifth position are reacting with sodium methoxide or phenyl uh, aldehyde right here also some of the uh, synthetic roots are there azines readily available from hydrozines and aldehydes have been oxidized to 134 oxadiazoles with uh, lead acetate and construction of 134 oxadiazoles employs an interesting application of the cycloaddition reaction between the carbonyl group of a ketone or aldehyde and a diazo compound. Here also some of the uh, synthetic roots are there. Azines readily available from hydrozines and aldehydes have been oxidized to 134 oxadiazoles with uh, lead acetate and construction of 134 oxadiazoles employs an interesting application of the cycloaddition reaction between the carbonyl group of a ketone or aldehyde and a diazo compound. In another method, cyanogen, cyanogen bromide has been employed as a carbonic acid derivative to provide a one carbon unit to form the five membered ring of the 134 oxidizer system and additionally introduce an amino substituent at the second or fifth position. Reaction with the semi carboxide derivatives occurs readily on heating in aqueous solution to give 134 oxadiazole 25 diamines. In another one, ring closure with orthoesters. So, hydrazides have been converted into 134 oxadiazoles using orthoesters as carboxylic acid equivalents with which provide one carbon atom for the 
1,3,4 oxidizole ring closure reaction purpose. Reactivity of the 1,3,4 oxidizoles. Electrophilic substitution is different due to low electron density. Nitration and sulfonation of 1,3,4 oxidizoles have not been reported and attempted rumination are unsuccessful. And an attack of nucleophile, nucleophile at carbon leads to either substitution or in ring cleavage. Okay. Next, the treatment of 2 chloro 134 oxidizole with amines or thiourea or aryl azide ion yields the corresponding 2 substituted 134 oxidizoles. Another one is 2 amino substituted. One can be diotazide on treatment with sodium nitrate and a strong base. So, amine, amino group will be converted into phenyl group. And another one is nucleophilic ring cleavage followed by cyclization gives other heterocyclic compounds. For example, 2,5-dimethyl-134 oxidizole on treatment with primary amines undergo ring opening then cyclize to give 1 to 4 triazoles. Here it is a thermal and photochemical reaction. 1, 3, 4 oxidizoles are stable and their stability is increased on substitution. 1, 3, 4 oxidizole 5 own are somewhat less stable and undergo selective pyrolysis at high temperatures only. So these are the two separate reactions which are given here thermal as well as a photochemical reaction. Uh, next one is 1 to 5 oxidizoles. So 1 to 5 oxidizole results from the dehydration of 1 to bis oxymes here. And another one is by dehydration of 1 to dione dioxymes, dioxymes which are been given here how the reaction is proceeding. Here you can see 1, 2, 5 uh, oxidizoles can be prepared by rearrangement of 1 of 1, 2 oxazole 3 i alkanone oxymes. So here this is the rearrangement of Bolton Kartinsky rearrangement of several classes of 1 of this one is including those 1, 2, 4 oxidizoles, 1, 2, 5 oxidizoles and isoxazoles and of 1 pyrazolyl alkones oxymes. Uh, this is the different methods of dehydration of alpha dioxymes given here by using uh, NH2OH. So, in reactivity, the electrophilic substitution reaction and nucleophilic substitution reactions are given here. The reactivity towards electrophile is very less. Aryl substituted 1 to 5 oxidizole can be uh, nitrated in homocyclic aryl rings means that is a benzene ring which is attached at third position and another one is nucleophilic substitution reaction ring is resistant to attack of nucleophile base uh, catalyte base catalyzed proton exchange occurs readily and this may lead to ring cleavage of 1 to 5 oxidizole so these are another three reactions that is a thermal or photochemical isomerization and thermal and photochemical ring cleavage and metallation reactions means n-butyl by using n-butyl lithium. Next we will see the thiadiazoles. Those are 1, 2, 3 thiadiazole, 1, 3, 4 thiadiazole and 1, 2, 5 thiadiazoles. So thiadiazole systems are only one divalent heteroatom can be incorporated into simple five-membered aromatic heterocycle. These systems are named with a non-nitrogen atom numbered as one and the position of the nitrogen show atom shown with a reference to the divalent atom. Those are 1, 2, 3 thiadiazole, 1, 3, 4 thiadiazole and 1, 2, 5 thiadiazole. So here 1, 2, 3 thiadiazole is a pi excessive heterocyclic compound and this compound nitrogen at third position is more dense where as carbon with low electron density therefore attack of electrophile 
electrophilic at, at, electrophile at a carbon deficient and occur at nitrogen atom. 1, 2, 3 thiodiazole derivative exhibits antibacterial, insecticidal, herbicidal, sedative and hypnotic activities. These are the some of the drugs which are thiodiazole ring systems available here. So 1, 2, 5 thiodiazole or 1, 3, 4 thiodiazole ring systems are available. And some of the natural thiodiazole derivatives also here, alkaloids. Now we will see 1, 2, 3 thiodiazole ring synthesis. 1, 2, 3 thiodiazole are prepared by reaction of a hydrazone containing an acidic methylene group with thionyl chloride. The 5-thiol can be prepared by reaction of chloral tocyl hydrazone with polysulfide as indicated here. Another reaction is benzotriazolyl is a useful leaving group for nucleophilic substitution in 1,2,3 thiodiazoles preparation. Here another synthesis that is Wolf synthesis of 1,2,3 thiodiazoles. Treatment of the diazo compound with the Lassen's reagent gave excellent yields of 4,5 di substituted 1,2,3 thiodiazoles. In another method, herd mori synthesis of 1,2,3 thiodiazoles. The herd uh, mori preparation of 1,2,3 thiodiazoles usually involves reaction of thionyl chloride with acyl or phenyl sulfonyl hydrazones that contain a alpha methylene group. A range of mono and di substituted 1, 2, 3 thiodiazoles have been prepared by this procedure. This is also uh, same reaction, Erdmorris reaction using of sulfur dichloride or sulfur monochloride. So here also treatment of an arrange of a range of tocyl hydrazones with sulfur chloride gives good yields of 1 to 3 thi uh, thiodiazole ring system. In some cases, sulfur dichloride is found to be superior to thionyl chloride, giving higher yields of 1 to 3 thiodiazoles. Another method is that is a Peachman and Nold synthesis. From this method also we, we will say we can synthesize with uh, one uh, we can synthesize one to three thiodiazole thiamines. The reaction of diazomethane with the phenyl isothionate of the four possible isomers that could be obtained from this reaction. These are the, some of the properties of reaction with electrophile, reaction with nucleophile, and ring cleavage reactions. So here methyl was substituted on sec nitrogen 2 or nitrogen 3 positions and uh, with reaction with nucleophile and nucleophile with methoxy group that is substituted on uh, fifth position that is a carbon position and in ring cleavage reaction deprotonation occurs at C5 and the strong base conditions also lead to ring cleavage with N2 positions and after that that was rearranged with uh, dithio group and then another, another reaction is the reaction of 4,5 di substituted with n-butyl lithium followed by the reaction with methyl iodide leads to cleavage of ring with elimination of nitrogen gas. Here that is another property that is thermal reaction and photochemical reaction. These two reactions are most important. Next one is 1,3,4 thiodiazole ring synthesis. Here 1,3,4 thiodiazoles are available by a number of convenient general routes including cyclization of NN diacyl hydrazines or 1,3,4 diox oxidiazoles with phosphorus sulfides. Two amino 1,3,4 thiodiazoles are prepared via acylation of thiosemicarboxides and the parent compound is easily obtained from hydrogen sulfide and dimethyl formamide azine. So these are the different four synthesis methods, synthetic methods to obtain 134 thiodiazoles. 
another one is methyl pyridine pyridine or methyl quinolines combined with aryl hydrazines when heated with sulfur and gives low to acceptable yields of the corresponding aryl 134 thiodiazoles and also the reactivity purpose 134 thiodiazole does not react with the electrophilic reagent because of less electron density electron releasing groups on 134 thiodiazole ring can facilitate electrophilic substitution uh, electrophilic substitution at a nitrogen atom and forms salts 134 thiodiazoles are susceptible to nucleophilic attack by which nucleophilic substitution or ring cleavage takes place here we have another reaction that is a reaction with nucleophile thiodiazoles are readily undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction so three different reactions are there here nucleophile is substituted on second position c2 position and ring cleavage with the deprotonation also takes place in presence of ethanol next preparation of 1 to 5 thiodiazoles 1 to 5 thiodiazoles can be prepared by the oxidative cyclization of 1 to diamines or amino carbo carboxamide condensation of sulfamides sulfamides with 1 to diketones gives 1 to 5 thiodiazoles 1 1 dioxides a good general method is the reaction of trithiazyl trichloride with activated alkenes and alkynes This method is also useful for the fusion of a 1 to 5 thiodiazole onto other heterocyclics such as pyrroles. The reaction possible possibly proceeds via cycloaddition to an NSN unit in the triethylene ring. These are the another three reactions by which we can we will prepare the One to five diethylazoles from uh, diamino di diamino melionitrile and thionyl chloride, as well as from two amino acetamides, as well as from two amino acetamide in. These are the three different methods to synthesize one to five thiodiazoles. A reactivity of 1 to 5 thiodiazoles. First one is chloromethylation. 1 to 5 thiodiazoles are relatively resistant to electrophilic substitution. There is one report of nucle nuclear chloromethylation. So that is treatment of 1 to 5 thiodiazole with hydrogen chloride in reflu refluxing acetic acid or formaldehyde produces 3,4 base chloromethyl 1 to 5. thiodiazole another property is halogenation electrophilic halogenations halogenation of 1 to 5 thiodiazoles are very rare however electron rich 1 to 5 thiodiazole 3 amine undergoes nuclear halogenation in the presence of bromine or chlorine in glacial acetic acid to give the 4 halo 1 to 5 thiodiazole 3 amines The next one is electrophilic substitution reaction. It is inert towards electrophilic attack. However, electrophilic substitution can occur even 1 to 5 thiodiazole ring is substituted with electron releasing group. And next one is reaction with nucleophile. 1 to 5 thiodiazole ring is susceptible towards nucleophilic attack on either carbon, sulfur or a ring proton. And another one is 1 to 5 thiodiazole is thermally very stable but 3 4 diphenyl 1 to 5 thiodiazole 1 1 dioxide is decomposed to benzonitrile and sulfur dioxide the next one is metallation here you can see lda is reacted with a 1 to 5 dithiazole to produce carboxylic acids and in another one stable phosphorus elides are obtained by reaction of triphenyl phosphonium chloride also 
till now we have completed the five member heterocyclics with more than two heteroatoms thank you for your attention